Usually I start the day in the garden and just have a look how the weather is and maybe now in spring or beginning of spring what's growing. Over the winter I had my beloved banana tree wrapped up with dry leaves and plastic and now you see it was probably too humid under the plastic. I read about that problem and it looks like maybe it died. That's a little bit of a tragedy, but luckily next to it, the little kiwi tree is growing nicely. Now we have to go, but just for a brief moment to the dark attic because I have stocked a lot of things there. Because of the sandblaster, I had to empty the house. And now I realize first, dust is everywhere, even there. And second, there are so many like fragments of furniture, furniture that I took apart and uh, that are now there. And I can kind of revisit the treasures and there are many pieces I can eventually use for building new things like down here. Quill. Hey, Quill. He's interrupting. Um, I'm going to build this kitchen here and I would love to use uh, some old pieces of uh, furniture and really put together like a very individual kitchen design. Eventually it's go not going to be super practical, but that's not the first thing that I'm after. <laughs> I found an old ceramic sink here under my stairway and my friend Taki told me why don't you use this because I was already uh, going to Ikea or whatever a store to find like a new one and metal sink but actually this is much nicer. I need to construct a very solid foot, like an under construction that holds the sink on a practical level. So that's what you are going to see now, basically, in this longer episode. And then when the structure is ready, I just um, lean those furniture pieces against it. So that's not at all uh, the end of the whole 
uh, kitchen construction, but I just have to form my ideas. And I think that goes uh, best when you just take the things in your hands and, and you can look at it instead of sketch and yeah, try to find it out just by memory. Du hast es auch anders gezeichnet. Ja, leider sind die Zeichen unterhand der Ah. Ah. Und dann hat man die
What I'm also going to do is to cut out from those heavy, or I mean from one of those heavy plate of African wood, the countertop of my kitchen. So this is a bit adventurous because, I mean, I cannot allow to make an error because cut is cut. We continue to clean, still after the sandblaster. <laughs> Chris brought out all that stuff that was underneath the stairway. He has like a little compartment that is full of tools and paint. And a lot of stuff that you need just like one by one, you have to brush it and to clean it and to, to find like a new order. So that's what we did. It looked a little bit like a garage sale, but actually it was just, the purpose was just to really uh, take away all the dust. No, sono andato nel nei bidoni io perché avevo ah, plastica, sì. avevo carta, avevo. Ma non lo so, non è mai a posto. Guarda là, questo qui tira in giro tutto. Ruffiano. Ruffiano. Ruffiano vuol dire uno che ti. Oh. No, che ti, ti fa le moine per ottenere qualcosa, no? Ti ah. assemblage. Mm -hmm.